Hello, hello, and welcome back, or welcome. I am book lover Lorna, and today we're going book shopping. Oh, I'm so excited. So obviously, you know how it's been, been in lockdown and all of that jazz for so long, and I have just wanted to get to a bookshop. Now, particularly, I want to go to Bookish, which is in a place called Crick Howell. I think that's how you say it. Don't quote me because I'm not Welsh. I don't have a Welsh accent. I live in Wales, but don't know how to pronounce place names because, you know, it's... it's Welsh is difficult. Not that that's even very Welshy, but uh, yeah. So Bookish in Crick Howell, that's where I want to go today. Um, it is a small drive, a little bit of a drive. Um, to get there, I'm going to buy some books. Not that I need any. And if it wasn't the fact that like I couldn't have been in bookshops for so long, then I probably wouldn't buy any but I want to support independent bookshops and like even on their Twitter they said yesterday that they were really quiet I don't think they sold any books so they're very like open and sharing those facts so I'm gonna buy a couple of books off them today see what they've got see what I fancy um obviously you know we know that I have a lot of unread books so I don't need them but it's the excitement of going to the bookshop and buying them and going to a brand new like bookshop not brand new brand new but brand new to me bookshop is very very exciting. I may also go to a another bookshop which will be The Hours in Brecon. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to make it there or not. We'll see how the day goes and how long I spend at Bookish. Because I'm kind of traveling up that way it makes sense that I would do the other one at the same time. So if if I go there as well you know, you'll see that too, but I'm not 100% sure yet. And obviously, you know, what you see is completely dependent on what I film and if there's many people around, to be quite honest with you. So we'll soon see. Uh, I'm excited. I'll probably kind of look for books that are on my wish list at the moment. Um, so, I mean, you will have seen that video. <clears throat> so if you watched it by now. Um, so probably kind of, that'll be kind of what I'm looking for. If I see some other things that I'm like, oh, that looks good, then, you know, obviously I might pick that up. But we'll see. Um, it could be an expensive day. Wish me luck, I guess. Wish me luck. We're going book shopping. Ah! I cannot even explain to you how buzzing I am to go into a bookshop. So it has been quite a bit of a drive to get here in the end. Um, sat in a bit of traffic. The sat now took me the wrong route because the age of my sat nav the, was not the same age as some of those roads they were new roads what do you know so uh i even had to actually stop and google for a public toilet because i drink a lot of water and you know even though i did my squeezy wee gotta do squeezy wee before you go out um before i went before i left home water just goes you know just makes you need a wee straight away it goes through you so i'm finally here i found a car park so i just need to pay to park and then i know i think the bookshop is just over there although when i did take one of my many wrong turnings i was trying to keep an eye out for it and i didn't see it so we will soon see um i am very very excited because there's a new one opening in bristol oh is that yeah gloucester road oh do you know what it's called? Gloucester Road Bookshop. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, as you can see, I did manage to do a little bit of filming in the bookshop. I am so, so happy to have been inside a bookshop and been wandering around. Like, it's just a way to find different books that you're not usually looking for. Like I said, I was coming this morning to look for books that are on my wish list, and I picked up books that weren't because I wouldn't have known about them else. And my heart is so happy. My heart is so happy right now. So I'll show you what I bought. Um, I accidentally spent quite a bit of money. Oops. Um, so firstly, because I spent so much money, the amazing lady in the shop gave me this bag, which says, books are my bag. I mean, isn't that just amazing? <laughs> books are my bag. And, you know, very punny because of the bag and everything. Um, so first, not an actual book thing. Wow, I'm going to have to put the aircon on. I really hope that you can't hear it too much, but I'm dying. It's so hot in here. It says it's 18 degrees outside. This is not ginger weather. Um, so this isn't actually a book, but it's book related. Um, I love puzzles, as you remember from my Disney puzzle collection video. This here is a book spine book puzzle. And it's like unforgettable books, book my best friend gave me, books that gives me happy tears, books that I read again and again, books I would grab if the house is burning, all of them. Uh, books, best book I ever read, childhood favorite, book, book that makes you look smart, book i don't sound smart right now book that makes me laugh out loud super fantastic book and then book i never finished there's quite a few of those how sorry for the lighting in the sun the sun is causing us mischief but how cute is that i just couldn't like i saw it and i was like as soon as i stepped in there i saw it and i was like oh, i need that it's so cute so that is going to be added to my puzzle collection now i ended up buying six books i was going to get a seventh but I had spent quite a bit of money, so considering how many unread books I've got at the moment, I was like, no, save that one for another time. It'll mean, you know, I'll, I'll come back up here again. I probably won't wait too long because I've really had fun. Um, literally makes me so happy to just walk around a bookshop for an hour. So it will give me other books to buy another time. So that's fine. Now, the first one I picked up, I've never, ever seen this or heard of this before. Uh, it's called Tiger and it's by Polly Clark. Now, firstly, the reason that I picked it up was because I, well, I saw the spine and I was like, oh, that's quite striking. And then the front cover is really quite cool. Um, and basically, so the synopsis, I'll read it out to you. Tiger is a sweeping story of survival and redeeming love that plunges the reader into one of the world's last wildernesses with blistering authenticity. It's got lots of big words in it, so my dyslexic brain won't know half what's going on, but Frida is a solitary primatologist until a violent attack shatters her ordered world. In her new role as zookeeper, she confronts a very different ward, an injured wild tiger. Uh, so I won't read you the whole thing, but Russian conservationist, uh, natural order has been topped. King tiger killed by poachers. When a tigress is now patrolling the territory as her own. Ooh. Faced with the savage forces of nature, Frida must trust her instinct and like the tiger, find a way to live in the world. Now that's not usually my kind of bag, but I, I'm using the bag word now. Um, but it seems, sounds really cool. In Bookish, the bookshop that I went to, they've got like a little graphic novel section, which I wouldn't usually look at, but it was kind of in the place where I was like, oh yeah, like I'm into graphic novels now that I've read um, the Heartstopper series and I want to kind of read a few more. So this is one that I've seen loads of other people reading. Sheets, I'm very late to the party on this one. This is by Brenna Thumler. I was going to get the second one, which I now can't remember what the sequel is called, um, but I didn't pick it up just in case I didn't love it. Um, I was like, no, just get the one. One. I've got plenty of books to read. If I love it, I can, you know, get the other one. Um, but I'm super excited for that one. A Barnes and Noble best book of 2018. 2018, I am very late to the party. Ah, and I also bought Solitaire by Alice Oseman. Now, this I think is where you first meet Nick and Charlie, which is the Heartstopper series. I think I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, oh, I've literally opened up a page and there's Nick and Charlie talking together. So, yes. Um, so I wanted to kind of read this to kind of know, obviously, the backstory of where Nick and Charlie's idea comes from. Um, so that's kind of cute. Just wanted to pick that one up. That's on my list. And then I wasn't planning on buying this. I wasn't actually planning on buying any, any Alice Oseman books today. But I picked this one up, uh, which is Nick and Charlie, a solitaire novella, because they have a signed copy in there. Um, and 
I'm pretty sure I paid the same price. I, don't, I didn't actually check. I'm pretty sure I paid the same price as what the book normally would be if it wasn't signed. Yeah, it did. So um, I was like, oh, that's cute. It's got a, the sign in there. So I was like, oh, I'll pick that up because I want to read those anyway. And then I was like, well, this is a solitaire novella. So I can't really pick up, should have done this the other way around, can't really pick up that one without reading Solitaire. So that's why I got those two together. You know, it's just encouraging me to purchase more books, isn't it? So I purchased two other books. Now, one I have never seen, never heard of, and I was like, oh, I wonder why the front page is like that. Um, but it just kind of, I saw that spine, and it had a little bit of pink on it, and the spine says Frankenstein, like with the word kiss in the middle. And I was like, oh, this sounds like a Frankenstein love story. Not that I've read Frankenstein, but you know. And then the front cover is like so. And I was like, oh, that looks like a bit of me. So it's Jeanette Winterson, Frankenstein, and it says a love story. So I'll read you what it says. As Brexit grips Britain, Rye, a young transgender doctor, is falling in love. The object of their misguided affection, the celebrated owl specialist Victoria, Professor Victoria Stein. Meanwhile, Ron Lord, there's a lot of names here, just divorced and living with his mum again, is set to make his fortune with a new generation of sex dolls for lonely men everywhere. Wow. Ranging from 1816, when 19-year-old Mary Shelley pens her first radical novel, to a chronic facility in present-day Arizona, where the dead wait to return to life. Frankenstein shows us how much closer we are to the future than we realise. And I just thought that sounded really good, and I've never seen it before. So it picks that one up. And then the last one is one that I've been seeing online quite a bit. I think out of the place I've been seeing it is Bookish, uh, the shop, uh, their Instagram or on their Twitter. Um, and because obviously I'm living in Wales and I'm not Welsh myself. Oh, look at the reflection. Um, I thought this would be really nice. So it's Welsh fairy tales, myths and legends by Claire Fires. Now, is that not? Let's see if it can focus. Can you get there? One of the cutest covers you've ever seen. There's like dragons, there's some daffodils, there's a harp down here, like, and the gold as well. That is just beautiful. And I didn't see it in the bookshop and I asked just as I was about to pay. I was like, have you got that white book with all the pretty things on the front and it's about like fairy tales or something? She was like, yes. I know the one that you're after. So she went and grabbed me this one and I can't wait to look, read this. It's like really big writing. So I will fly through this and maybe learn a bit more about Welsh fairy tales, which will be really nice. Cause obviously, you know, I don't know anything. Um, I can feel, I can feel my lips getting dry from the air conditioning. So that was what I ended up buying. So I did admittedly buy more than I was planning to, but I have driven what is an hour to get here i actually turned out more than an hour because i took too many wrong turnings because my sat nav was not my best friend um but yeah so we ended up with six books and a puzzle um very exciting so you know this is like a month's almost a month's worth of reading um i'm super happy and i'm actually not going to go to the other bookshop because firstly i've spent too much um but also apparently it's not quite such a like a proper bookshop it's more like there's a little book section so that's actually quite far to drive so i won't go there um i'm gonna like drive back to the next town because there's a wool shop and you know i love to knit so i'm gonna have a little little peruse there before i head on home but yeah my heart is very happy because I have books and I got to walk around a bookshop. So I highly recommend it. Even if you're on a book buying ban, we know that I try those and, you know, deep down don't really believe in them because they never end with me not buying books, they end with me buying books. Yeah, so I would definitely recommend coming to this bookshop if you're ever in the area. It's so lovely. Um, they do have a cafe as well, which is not open at the moment. Um, but I imagine in the next few months and stuff, it'll be opening up a lot more. I think at the moment it's just open at weekends. Um, I work weekends so I will not be coming for that just yet but hopefully you know in a few months down the line when everything is back to normal I'll be able to go there and you know have a nice little cake or something which will be really lovely so yeah I'll probably end the video here as I'm not going to the other bookshop um I've already got enough satisfaction from this one um I think there will be plenty of days for the rest of the year where I am going to make trips to see bookshops at some point I'm going to drive up to a place called Hay on Y, which is like a book town and it's got loads of like antique bookstores and stuff in there which is not usually my kind of thing but I just think it'll be such a nice day out um so yeah I'm sure there will be plenty more vlogs like this and uh you seeing me go crazy and 
happy over books. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Happy reading and I'll see you all soon. Bye.